New York City. New York City, Table of Contents. The top attractions in Manhattan. 1. One World Observatory at the World Trade Center. One World Trade Center. Also known as One World Trade. 1 WTC. And formerly called the Freedom Tower during initial planning stages. Is the main building of the rebuilt World Trade Center complex in Lower Manhattan. One World Trade Center is the tallest building in the United States, the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere and the seventh tallest in the world. One World Trade Center designed by Skidmore. Oinks and Merrill is named after the North Tower of the original World Trade Center, which was destroyed in the terrorist attacks of September 11, 2001. Construction began in 2006, and it became the tallest structure in New York City in 2012 when it surpassed the height of the MP State Building. In 2013, the final component of the skyscraper's spire was installed, reaching a total height of 1,776 feet, 541 meters. This height in feet refers to the year the United States Declaration of Independence was signed. One World Trade Center has 94 stories, with the top floor numbered 104. The building opened in 2014, and the One World Observatory opened in 2015. The current tallest building in the United States is the One World World Trade Center, which lets visitors experience panoramic views on levels 100, 101, and 102. The tour begins with a thrilling trip in the Sky Pod elevators, some of the fastest in the world which lead to a two-minute video presentation of gorgeous city images on floor 102. 2. MP State Building The MP State Building was completed in 1931 at the height of the Great Depression. It is a 1,454-foot Art Deco skyscraper that was the tallest building in the world for almost 40 years and has long stood as a symbol of American innovation and ambition. Still looming large as ever in New York's skyline, where it's still the seventh tallest building, the Empire State Building remains one of the most visited attractions in the city. An open-air observation deck on the 86th floor provides a panoramic view of New York City. 3. The Statue of Liberty the Statue of Liberty has held her torch high in New York Harbor as the quintessential symbol of American liberty since 1886. The copper statue stands 305 feet high and was designed by Frederic Auguste Bartholdi and given to the U.S. from France to celebrate the friendship of the two nations. The statue's massive pedestal houses, an observation deck as well as exhibits detailing its fascinating history, and the bronze plaque with Emma Lazarus's poem, A New Colossus. The National Park Service offers daily tours of Liberty Island as well as neighboring Ellis Island, which served as the first stop for more than 12 million immigrants between 1852 and 1954. While admission to both parks is technically free, Visitors must buy ferry tickets to get there. Be sure to book online well in advance, as day of tickets tend to sell out quickly, especially in the summer months. 4. The Metropolitan Museum of Art The Metropolitan Museum of Art or the Met, opened in 1880. It is impressive in quality and scale with two million items in its permanent collection. From classical antiquity to modern American design. The neoclassical facade of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, designed by McKim Mead and White was added in 1895. 5. Central Park 
Central Park is the world's most famous public park and one of the most beloved attractions in New York City. It is an iconic fixture of numerous films, TV shows, and songs. The New York State Legislature enacted into law in 1853. The setting aside of more than 750 acres of land in Manhattan Island to create the Central Park. Construction of Central Park started in 1857 and was completed in 1867. And it now encompasses 843 acres. This is a panoramic view of New York with Central Park in the foreground. Painted by George Schlegel in 1873. Central Park was designed by urban visionaries Frederick Law Olmsted and Calvert Vaux. To reflect a harmonious balance of scenic elements that live on today, pastoral, the open, picnic ready lawn of the sheep meadow, formal, the tree-lined mall, and picturesque, the densely wooded paths of the ramble. Central Park is the most visited urban park in the United States with an estimated 42 million visitors annually. 6. Theater District The Theater District is the location of most of the 41 Broadway venues that are professional theaters with a capacity of over 500. More than 13 million locals and tourists take in Broadway shows every year. The Theater District is the area of Midtown Manhattan near Times Square, from 41st Street to 52nd Street, and between 6th Avenue and 8th Avenue. 7. Times Square Times Square is the heart of Manhattan that was once a global byword for seediness and sin. With sex shops and drug dealers, in recent decades, who waver. Its notorious reputation has almost totally evaporated. And the area now is a tourist-clogged shopping mall. 8. United Nations The United Nations headquarters is an international territory belonging to the 193 member states of the UN. It is located along the East River in Manhattan. Every year. Over 1 million visitors from around the world visit the UN headquarters and take a one who guide it too. Multilingual tour guides explain the history and work of the United Nations. The tour includes a visit to the General Assembly Hall and Security Council Chambers. 9. Fifth Avenue Fifth Avenue is a major and prominent thoroughfare in Manhattan. It stretches north from Washington Square Park in Greenwich Village to West 143rd Street in Harlem. It is one of the most expensive shopping streets in the world. Sections of Fifth Avenue are among the most expensive shopping streets in the world. And the section between 59th and 96th Streets across Central Park was nicknamed Millionaire's Row. Sections of Fifth Avenue are among the most expensive shopping streets in the world. And the section between 59th and 96th Streets across Central Park was nicknamed Millionaire's Row in the early 20th century due to the high concentration of mansions there. A section of Fifth Avenue running from 82nd to 110th Streets alongside Central Park is nicknamed Museum Mile due to the large number of museums there. 8. Rockefeller Center Rockefeller Center, built by the fabulously wealthy businessman John D. Rockefeller between 1929 and 1940, is a complex of 14 Art Deco limestone buildings between 5th and 6th Avenues. The construction of this enormous complex employed over 40,000 workers over nine years. Nowadays, more than 350,000 visitors visit this historic landmark every year. The NBC Studio Tour covers the network's history. In December, the Rockefeller Center Plaza Ice Rink is open, with an enormous 70-foot Christmas tree. 9. Grand Central Terminal 
Grand Central Terminal is a transit hub used by thousands of commuters each day. Opened in 1913, the majestic Beaux-Arts architecture of the Grand Central Terminal is a marriage of form and function. Famous features include the vaulted, constellation adorned ceiling and the four-face opal clock topping the main information booth. 11. The Guggenheim Museum the Guggenheim Museum was built in 1959 by Frank Lloyd Wright to house the eponymous philanthropist's collection. The iconic concrete spiral is considered as much a work of art as the paintings within it. Alongside great works by European masters such as Monet, Picasso, and Chagall, the institution holds the most Kandinsky's in the U.S as well as one of the world's largest collections of maple tharps. 12. Macy's Herald Square Macy's Herald Square is at 34th Street and Broadway. And while the giant signs that adorn this department store with the label of the world's largest store are not currently valid, the flagship Macy's is massive at 2.2 million square feet, taking up a whole city block. The Macy's building was completed in 1902, and New Yorkers and visitors worldwide have been visiting Macy's ever since. Macy's was founded as a dry goods emporium in 1843. Today, shoppers flock to the store to buy clothes, accessories, and home goods. 13. American Museum of Natural History this museum opened in 1871 on the Upper West Side across from Central Park. It comprises 20 interconnected buildings housing 45 permanent exhibition halls, a planetarium and a library. The American Museum of Natural History contains the 94-foot blue whale model in the Milstein Hall of Ocean Life and the 122-foot cast of the Tyrannosaur fossil in the Miriam and Ira D. Wallach Orientation Center. There is also a vast collection of taxidermied animals, the dazzling Hall of Gems, and the awe-inspiring Haydn Planetarium. 14. Whitney Museum of American Art The Whitney Museum opened in a new building in 2015. The all-new Whitney has some 63,000 square feet of in-due and out-due exhibition space. The Whitney Museum collection based on American artists of the 20th and 21st centuries holds about 15,000 pieces by nearly 2,000 artists, including Alexander Calder, Willem de Kooning, Jasper Johns, Louise Nevelson, and the Entius Dates of Edward Hepe. 15. New York Historical Society the New York Historical Society is one of America's first cultural and educational institutions. Founded in 1804, the New York Historical Society offers a comprehensive look at the New York of the past, with wide-ranging exhibits covering all aspects of city life. The museum's permanent holdings are a fair glimpse into daily city life in New York City in the past with items such as vintage clothing, toys, and furniture. 16. Broadway Broadway in Manhattan is known widely as the heart of the American commercial theatrical industry. Broadway is a metonym for types of large-scale theatrical productions elsewhere. Broadway is also used in the names of alternative theatrical ventures such as Off-Broadway and Off-Off-Broadway. Broadway runs from State Street at Bowling Green at the southern tip of Manhattan for 13 miles, 21 kilometers, through the borough of Manhattan and then 2 miles, 3.2 kilometers, through the Bronx. It then goes north from New York City to run an additional 18 miles, 29 kilometers through Westchester County. Broadway is the oldest north-south main thoroughfare in New York City, with much of the current street beginning as the Wickwas Jack Trail before the arrival of Europeans. 
Broadway became one of the primary thoroughfares of the Dutch New Amsterdam colony, which continued under British rule. Although most of it did not bear its current name until the late 19th century, Chinatown has the largest population of Chinese immigrants in the U.S. It is like a city within a city, with a plethora of Chinese food, shopping, medicine, and deco. In this area south of Broome Street and east of Lafayette, it feels like not just a different country, but a different continent. Modern grand streets are lined with stands selling exotic foodstuffs such as live eels, square watermelons, and hairy rambudans, while Canal Street glitters with jewelry stores and gift shops. Hey! You'll find some of the best restaurants in the city. Representing the cuisine of virtually every province of mainland China and Hong Kong. Plus Indonesian, Malaysian, Thai and Vietnamese eateries and shops. Little Italy was once a thriving enclave of Italian immigrants and is now a popular tourist destination. Restaurants serving classic Italian dishes on red and white checkered tablecloths can still be found in the neighborhood. Little Italy is also known for one of the city's oldest street fairs, the annual Feast of San Gennaro, which celebrates the patron saint of Naples with food, a parade and other festivities over 11 days every September. The Intrepid Museum, originally called the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum, is a military and maritime history museum aboard the museum ship USS Intrepid an aircraft carrier of World War II. This museum at Pier 86 at 46th Street along the Hudson River on the west side of Manhattan has numerous exhibits of aircraft and spacecraft. This is the Intrepid Museum at Pier 86 on 46th Street along the Hudson River on the west side of Manhattan. Although most of the museum's collection is composed of aircraft exhibited on the flight deck, it includes the ship's flight, hangar, gallery decks, and the cruise missile submarine USS Growler. The museum opened in 1982. This is a Lower Manhattan Hotel and Sightseeing Map. This is a Lower Manhattan Hotel and Sightseeing Map. This is a discovery route to explore Lower, Downtown, Manhattan. Midtown Manhattan. Theater District. Midtown has everything that characterizes New York City. Its boundaries are usually defined as 59th Street to the north and 34th Street to the south. Midtown has a lot of attractive places for sightseeing, shopping, and entertainment. The world's most famous square, Times Square is the center of the area. And the busiest avenue with many visitors is Fifth Avenue. This is a map and list of sightseeing spots in Midtown Manhattan. This is a map of sightseeing spots in Midtown Manhattan. This is a map of sightseeing spots in Midtown Manhattan. This is a map of the New York Theater District. This is a map of the area around Times Square. This is a map of New York Central Park. Brooklyn. Brooklyn has a lot of attractive places where, before the immigrants settled in the 1600s, it was a marshy area. Before it was merged into New York City in 1898, Brooklyn was the third biggest city in the United States with a population of about 2.3 million. The Brooklyn Dodgers moved from here to Los Angeles in 1958 to become the Los Angeles Dodgers. Today, Brooklyn is a borough of many neighborhoods, each with its own strong ethnic flavor. 
It's very rare to find a New Yorker whose family has been living in America for more than one generation and didn't have an ancestor who lived in Brooklyn at some point. This is a map of Brooklyn and a list of parks. This is a map and a list of sightseeing spots in Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Bridge and Brooklyn Bridge Park along the East River are some of the most iconic landmarks in all of New York. With a span of 6,000 feet, it was the world's longest suspension bridge until 1903. 2. The Williamsburg neighborhood is the home of many ethnic groups like Italian Americans, Puerto Ricans, and Dominicans. There is a large population of Hasidic Jews here. So you will probably run into traditional synagogues or stores with signs in Yiddish. 3. Coney Island Coney Island is on a small peninsula. With Coney Island Beach and Brighton Beach and two amusement piers. Luna Park and Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park. 4. Brooklyn Botanic Garden The Brooklyn Botanic has 52 acres of specialty gardens. The most notable garden area is the Japanese Hill and Pond Garden, which features cherry blossoms, Japanese maples and irises, and a Shinto shrine. 5. Brooklyn Museum The Brooklyn Museum is one of the best museums in New York City, with over 500,000 art pieces. It is housed in an impressive Beaux-Arts style building and has an extensive permanent collection of art from around the world. This is a bus map of Brooklyn. This is a map of Brooklyn neighborhoods. This is a street map of Brooklyn. The Borough of Queens. Unlike Manhattan, Queens is a residential area with a strong original culture of former immigrants. If you feel real New York, you should better visit there. Queens is the biggest area among five New York City districts. Unlike Manhattan, Queens is a residential area with a strong original culture of former immigrants. If you feel real New York, you should better visit there. Queens is the biggest area among five New York City districts, and it includes Roosevelt Island, where visitors can enjoy the sky view from the tram on East 60th Street in Manhattan for only $1.50, in the northern area of Queens is LaGuardia International Airport, and in the Jamaica district of southern Queens is JFK International Airport. According to a recent study, Queens is the most diverse county in the United States among counties of more than 100,000 population, and the third most racially diverse county in the United States. In Queens, approximately 48.5% of the population was foreign-born as of 2010, of which 49.5% were born in Latin America 33.5% in Asia. 14.8% in Europe, 1.8% in Africa, and 0.4% in North America. This is a map and a list of parks in Queens. This is a map and a list of sightseeing spots in Queens. 1. Museum of the Moving Image The Museum of the Moving Image is in Astoria Studios a historic venue built in 1920 to accompany the nearby theater district in Manhattan. This museum is the place to visit if you're interested in film or TV or the technology of digital media. Multimedia exhibits explore audiovisual elements like stop-motion animation, TV and movie production, character design, and virtual reality. 2. Queen's Botanical Garden The Queen's Botanical Garden was created in 1939 for the New York World's Fair, and the 39-acre venue has since become one of the most beautiful spots in the entire borough. 
The perennial garden and meadow have plants, flowers, and trees that used to grow all over the New York City area. 3. Flushing Meadows, Corona Park. Flushing Meadows, Corona Park is one of the best and fourth largest parks in the entire city. It was built for the 1939 New York World's Fair and is most recognized by the Unisphere. A 140-foot tall steel globe that symbolizes unity and peace. The Queen's Botanical Garden. The New York Hall of Science. And the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center are located in this park. And rides are available on the Flushing Meadows Carousel. 4. MoMav PS1 MoMav PS1 is affiliated with the Museum of Modern Art, MoMav, and is a huge contemporary art center with paintings, drawings, sculptures, and photographs. 5. Queen's Museum This museum is the most famous in Queens. Thanks to its vast collection of historical artifacts, art exhibits, and community events. It is part of Flushing Meadows, Corona Park and contains thousands of relics from the 1939 and 1964 New York World's Fairs. This is a tourist map of Queens. The Bronx is the home of New York's two most significant landmarks, the Bronx Zoo and Yankee Stadium. The area was named after the Dutch settler Jonas Brunk, who had claimed the area as his farm in 1636. The Bronx is the only borough of New York physically connected to the mainland of the United States. The borough of the Bronx was largely undeveloped and mainly consisted of cottages, farmlands, and wild marshes until a large swell of Irish and Italian immigrants inhabited the area. Immigrants still come to the Bronx but are Russian and Hispanic today. This is a map and a list of parks in the Bronx. This is a map and a list of sightseeing spots in the Bronx. 1. New York Botanical Garden The New York Botanical Garden has over 250 acres of themed gardens, walking paths, and greenhouses. It is open year-round. So there are various seasonal blooms and different plant species. The Enidae, Hopped Conservatory has tropical plants, vines, cacti, and aquatic plants during the warmer months. 2. Yankee Stadium Yankee Stadium is home to the New York Yankees, one of the most celebrated at teams in Major League Baseball, with 27 World Series wins. The stadium has a capacity of 50,000 and is open for tours. Even if the Yankees aren't your favorite team, it's worth visiting the stadium for a tour or a summer baseball game. The tour lasts about an hour and includes a stop at Monument Park, the stadium's open-air museum with memorials, plaques, and commemorative granite blocks for famous players like Babe Ruth, Mickey Mantle, Joe DiMaggio, and Lou Gehrig. 3. Edgar Allan Poe Cottage The Edgar Allan Poe Cottage is a simple house in the Fordham neighborhood of the Bronx that served as the writer's final home, which he shared with his wife and mother-in-law. During his time here, Poe penned some of his most notorious literary criticisms in poems like Annabelle Lee and Dula Loom. 4. Little Italy while you may be more familiar with the Little Italy of Manhattan, the Bronx also has a Little Italy along Arthur Avenue in the Belmont section of the Bronx. It is home to various bakeries, restaurants, pizzerias, and shops, and one of the best places to eat in the Bronx. This is a street map of the Bronx. This is a map of neighborhoods in the Bronx. This is a tourist map of the Bronx. Staten Island 
Staten Island is connected to Manhattan only by ferry. A 25-minute trip. Staten Island is the least populated of all New York districts. It is rich with hills, lakes, and parks and still has New York's original flavor of traditional buildings. Staten Island is a typical residential area with a subway and bus line. 1. Fort Wadsworth is an impressive Staten Island landmark near the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. This was a U.S. military defense base during the American Revolution, the War of 1812, and at World Wars I and II. Fort Tompkins and Battery Weed Four-tiered fortifications We built in the mid-1800s and contain some interesting relics from the past. Guided tours of these forts and of their buildings are available. 2. National Lighthouse Museum The Lighthouse Museum is along the busy New York Bay in the Staten Island Coast Guard Station. This museum explores the history of lighthouses in the United States and New York. There are exhibits on how these massive structures operate, the technology and personal stories behind them and a timeline of the lighthouse's development from ancient Egypt to the present day. 3. Historic Richmond Town Historic Richmond Town is an interesting historical complex in Staten Island with over 30 structures, some dating back to the late 17th century. The town buildings and homes reflect the population of the time primarily Dutch English and French immigrants who worked as blacksmiths, craftsmen, and shoemakers. As a living history museum, it is an immersive experience that takes you through the lives of 19th century farmers and homemakers. A tour of shops, cottages, and houses includes the Guyan Lake Tizen House, a Dutch colonial farmhouse from 1740 and the Vore Lasers House, the oldest surviving elementary school in the U.S., dating back to 1695. 4. Staten Island Museum The Staten Island Museum is the oldest cultural institution in Staten Island. Founded in 1881, this museum has an extensive collection of artistic, historical, and scientific objects spanning ancient history to the modern day, including half a million biological and botanical specimens, including fossils, minerals, and animals. You can also browse paintings, drawings, and handicrafts from around the world, some dating back to prehistory. The museum exhibits related to the history of Staten Island and New York. The Staten Island Children's Museum is close by. It is a hands-on children's museum with in-do and out-do exhibits encouraging interaction, exploration, and creativity. 5. Staten Island Ferry the Staten Island Ferry is an easy way to get from Staten Island to Manhattan and vice versa, and the only way to travel directly between the two boroughs. The Staten Island Ferry operates 24-7 and is always free. The boat leaves every 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the time of day and takes about 25 minutes to travel to 5.2 miles of New York Harbor. The ride offers views of New York City, including the Statue of Liberty Ellis Island Governor's Island, the Verrazano Narrows Bridge Jersey City, and the Lower Manhattan skyline. This is a street map of Staten Island. This is a map of neighborhoods on Staten Island. This is a tourist map of Staten Island. Bus and Boat Tour For the first time visitor, a hop-on hop-off bus tour, K-1.
can be a convenient way to see New York City's major sites and offer the opportunity to explore some of these places at leisure. The Big Bus Hop on Hop Off 2 is one of the most popular tours in the city. These daily tours offer commentary in several languages and a downtown and uptown route. The ticket includes access to both routes. Although you can choose a one, two or three day pass or a downtown only or uptown only ticket. These are the routes of the Big Bus Hop on Hop Off Tour. These are the uptown and downtown loops of the Big Bus Hop on Hop Off Tour. Nick City Sightseeing Gray Line Hop on Hop Off Bus is another worthwhile tour through Manhattan, Brooklyn and Harlem. This is one of the best open top buses in New York. With panoramic views of top attractions like the Rockefeller Center, the Brooklyn Bridge, Times Square, the Met, the Guggenheim and the 9-11 Museum. New York City's Gray Line tours offer audio narration in 11 languages, including English, Spanish and French. The company also offers an accompanying mobile app with updates and bus routes. Also, the bus stops by several hotels, so it can be a convenient option if you single quote staying in the heart of the city. The Top View NYC Hop On Hop Off Bus is another good Hop On Hop Off Bus Tour. This is one of the best attractions in the city's neighborhoods. There are stops at the Empire State Building the Rockefeller Center and some of the city's top parks, including Union Square and Columbus Circle. These are stops and a map of the Top View NYC Downtown Hop On Hop Off Bus Red Route. These are stops, and a map of the Top View NYC Uptown Hop on Hop Off Bus Blue Route. These are stops, and a map of the Top View NYC Brooklyn Hop on Hop Off Bus Route. This is the map of the Top View NYC Liberty Cruise. These New York City Hop on Hop Off Bus Tours operate daily, including free onboard Wi-Fi and audio narration in 11 languages. One boat tour of Manhattan is the Circle Line. The Circle Line cruises depart from Pi 83 at 42nd Street in Midtown Manhattan. The Circle Line cruises offer several tours, including the best of NYC, which is a two and one half hour sightseeing cruise that completely circles Manhattan. The best of NYC is the only sightseeing cruise in New York City that completely goes around the island of Manhattan. It is a two-hour and 30-minute cruise through all three rivers, passes under 20 bridges and offers views of over 130 of the city's most iconic landmarks. Including the Manhattan skyline, Little Island, Hudson Yards, One World Trade Center, Brooklyn Bridge, and downtown Brooklyn Yankee Stadium, the George Washington Bridge, and a close look at the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. City Sightseeing New York offers another boat tour. This company offers a 90 minute skyline cruise that departs from Midtown Manhattan on the Hudson River and travels south past the Statue of Liberty in Lower Manhattan and the Brooklyn Bridge. Unlike their single-trip sightseeing cruise, this is a hop-on, hop-off service with several terminals. This boat makes stops at South Street Dumbo the World Financial Center in Midtown. City Sightseeing also offers twilight and night tours. Subway A.N.D. Rail Maps this is a map of the New York City subway system. This is a map of the New York City subway system in Manhattan. This is a map of the New York City subway system. This is a map of the New York Metro North Railroad MNR, system. This is a map of the Long Island Railroad system. Timeline of events in the history of New York City in the 2000s. 2000. The Yankees win Game 5 of the 2000 World Series versus the Mets. The Asala Express train begins operating between Washington, D.C. and Boston. 
stopping at New York Penn Station. The population of New York City reaches 8 million. This is the first time the population officially reaches this mark. And it is a reversal of the suburban flight of the 1970s and 1980s. With an increase of nearly 1 million residents over two decades. Over 1.2 million foreign-born residents arrived in New York between 1990 and 2000. 2001. On September 11, the two World Trade Center Twin Towers and several surrounding buildings were destroyed by two jetliners in part of a coordinated terrorist attack by radical terrorists, 9-11, killing 2,606 people who were in the towers and on the ground. 2002. The tribute Ian Light Memorial was unveiled and lit up every day for the next month. It has since been lit up every September 11, 2003. New York loses power in a blackout that affects eight states as well as parts of Canada. The Time Warner Center was built. 2006. One World Trade Center construction begins. Seven World Trade Center is the first tower completed at Ground Zero. 2007. The New York Times building is finished. 2009. U.S. Airways Flight 1549 ditches in the Hudson River. City Field and the new Yankee Stadium opened. And the New York Yankees won their 27th World Series. Their first since 2000. The New York City population reached 8.2 million and the metro area population was now 19 million. 2011. National 9-11 Memorial opens. Occupy Wall Street begins. 2012. New York Giants won Super Bowl football contest over the New England Patriots. NBI Nets play their first game in the Barclays Center bringing professional sports back to Brooklyn for the first time since the Dodgers in 1957. Hurricane Sandy brought flooding and high winds that resulted in several deaths and widespread power outages. 2013. The Four World Trade Center opens. The population of New York City reached 8.4 million. 2014. The National 9-11 Museum opens. Highline Phase 3 opened. 432 Park Avenue is topped out. Becoming the tallest building in New York City by roof height, and the tallest residential building in the world. One World Trade Center. The tallest building in the Western Hemisphere by architectural height. Opened. And the Fulton Center. A large subway and retail complex in Lower Manhattan. Was completed. 2017. Three World Trade Center opens. Hudson Yards is topped out as the tallest building in the Hudson Yards redevelopment project and features an 80-foot cantilever observation deck. 2019. A record number of 66.6 million visitors came to New York City with an economic impact of $80.3 billion. 2020. The city goes into a state of lockdown amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. The population of New York City reached 8.8 million. 2023. The Phantom of the Opera closes after 35 years on Broadway having set the record for longest-running Broadway show. Pro-Palestine and pro-Israel rallies occurred throughout the city, including Washington Square Park and near the United Nations. After the savage attack by the terrorist group Hamas on Israel, Governor Kathy Hochul eventually went to Israel in support of the country, with New York City having the highest population of Jewish people outside of Israel. The climate of New York City. Will it be hot? Or will it be cold in New York City? Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit throughout the year in New York City. Here are the average high and low temperatures in degrees Celsius throughout the year in New York City. Precipitation in New York City.
It is the average precipitation in inches throughout the year in New York City. The total yearly rainfall is 44.7 inches or 1135 millimeters. It is the average precipitation in millimeters throughout the year in New York City. Here is the average number of days per month with precipitation throughout the year in New York City. We see that it rains about 114 days every month throughout the year. Recommended videos New York City Recommended video, Here Grows New York Recommended video, History of New York City Recommended video, The History of New York in 12 Minutes. Recommended video, What's Left of New Amsterdam and the Origins of the USA. Recommended video, George Washington's Defeat in New York. Recommended video, the Simple Genius of New York City's Water Supply System Recommended Video A Closer Look at New York City's Water Supply Recommended Video The Port of New York and New Jersey Recommended Video The Erie Canal Recommended Video New York City Draft Riots of 1863 Recommended Video Modern Marvels Building the Brooklyn Bridge Recommended video, America's first mega project. The amazing story of the Brooklyn Bridge. Recommended video, the city of greater New York. The story of consolidation. Recommended video, how did the boroughs of New York get their names? Recommended video, top 10 best places to visit in Manhattan, New York, Manhattan travel guide. Recommended video. Top 10 Things to Do in Manhattan Recommended Video To 10 Things to Do in Brooklyn Recommended Video 9 Best Things to Do in Queens Recommended Video Top Rated Attractions and Things to Do in the Bronx Recommended Video Top 7 Things to Do in Staten Island, New York City's Unexpected Gem Recommended Video Top 10 Largest U.S. Cities by Population, 1790-2017 Recommended Video, Biggest U.S. Cities, 1776-2035 Recommended Video, Top 15 Most Populated Cities in the World, 1700-2019 Recommended Video, YouTube Navigation Recommended videos Walking tours of New York City For a street level experience of New York City View the video walking tours It's the next best thing to being fay Recommended videos New York City walking tour playlist Recommended video New York City walking tour by New York Tour 1 Part 1 Midtown Manhattan Recommended Video, New York City Walking Tour by New York Tour 1 Part 2, Downtown Manhattan Recommended Video, New York City Virtual Walking Tour Midtown Manhattan New York City Walk Hudson Yards and Midtown West Recommended Video, Driving Downtown New York City Recommended Video, New York City's Financial District Walking Tour Recommended video, New York City 4K walking tour. Downtown Manhattan. One World Trade Center to South Street Seaport. Recommended video, New York City walking tour 4K. Fifth Avenue. Sunset Walk. Recommended video, New York City walking tour part 1. Midtown Manhattan. Recommended video, New York City walking tour. Times Square, New York City, Table of Contents. Thanks for watching. 
Please watch some more of my great videos.